Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Change, bringing guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. Guys, the support has been awesome for these videos. So guys, if you do enjoy these, make sure you show up by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and dropping a comment letting me know that you guys do enjoy these. If I get enough feedback and all that, I'll keep pumping these out for you guys. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking a Hydreigon team with... Angie Slash and all that it covers so much ground and it is awesome It's kind of like something different from like everyone always uses Dragon Bolt. You can always swap out go use a Hydreigon Which is a special attacker and it is so much fun. So guys this team is actually a choice scarf Hydreigon a pixel plate Sylveon right here, which the pixel plate actually changes all of her no normal moves into fairy type So we're rocking hyper voice and quick attack which are normal moves but with the pixel plate, they turn into fairy moves. Can't throw off your opponent and do some work. We got a weakness policy, Angie Slash, which can come up huge. If you can set off that weakness policy, woo! Let's go, dude. Your Angie Slash could run some things. We got an Assault Vest Gastrodon, a Aguav Berry, Rotom Stove Guy, Fire One. I forget his name, <laughs> but he's Fire Rotom. And then we're rocking a Citrus Berry Corver Knight. So, guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Rental code is on the bottom of the screen. I, again, I did not make this team, so I'm going to be leaving a link to the creator of this team. But without further ado, let's get into the battles. Here we go. Hopping into our first match right here. This guy is rocking a Curse or a Corsola. Corsola, the second stage is the Corsola. Then we got Sylveon, Corvidite, Dragon Pult, Hydreigon, and Alcremie. Jeez, rocking the double dragon package right here. This guy is going off with the dragons. But first off, what I see right here. Is I'm going to pull out my Angie Slash definitely in this battle. Angie Slash is going to come through. We're going to definitely roll out with our Choice Scarf Hydreigon also. And then last pick, we got to go with our Sylveon. We got to go with our Sylveon. That is going to be a nice little... Do we start with the Sylveon though? Who are we going to start with is the real question. I think we're going to start with our uh, weakness policy. Angie Slash because I can see this guy coming in here with the uh, Dragapult or the Hydreigon. Throwing like a flamethrower and we can set off our weakness policy. And go straight into a Dynas Max. So... That is going to be our plan. We got a pixel plate Sylveon, which should come up clutch, guys. It would be awesome. But, guys, if you guys want to see more content from me, more ranked battles, make sure to go into the link in the description below. There's a link to my Twitch, at Jeans25 on Twitch. Definitely go hit that follow button. My schedule is down there, too. We stream four plus days every single week. And if you guys would like to see some double ranked battles, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll bring that content for you guys. But here we go. Starting off this battle, who is she going to lead? Who is she going to lead? Her Sylveon's going to come out. On the lead right here, which is actually fine by me. That's fine by me. I don't mind going up against a Sylveon. Think I care about going up against a Sylveon? Um, what are we gonna rock out here? Uh, this thing's probably rocking flamethrower. We could King Shield. We could King Shield right here. Um, or we can hard swap into our. We could hard swap. Yeah, we're gonna hard swap into our Hydreigon right here. That's exactly what we're gonna do because I can see a big fat flamethrower coming out from this Sylveon right here. Unless she's gonna read us. Don't you dare read me. Don't you dare read me. Let's see. Let's see. Shadow Ball. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can take those. We take those. We take those. And we are Choice Scarf, so we will actually outspeed here. We're going to go straight into a Flash Cannon right here. You give me no reason not to go into a Flash Cannon. We are Choice Scarf. Let's go. Flash Cannon popping off here. Can we take this thing out in one hit? No, we cannot. This thing is a beast. This thing's going to take us out, actually. Hyper Voice coming out here. Pixel Plated, probably. No! No! I thought we could do some work on it with the flash cannon. Guess not. I guess not. Because that is one thing I have to learn is uh, more on like, like the stat side and all that stuff. We're going to go Sylveon v Sylveon right here. We're going to pop off with a mystical fire. Do some work on it. That is our plan. That is our plan. But ours is shiny. Look at this. This rental team does have a shiny Sylveon, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do we go into the hyper voice or the mystical fire? We're going to go into the mystical fire. Try to drop our special attack. That's fine. Do we outspeed is the real question. No real question right here, guys. He's going to withdraw. I don't think he knows we're going into the Mystical Fire. What do you think we're going into? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ew -wee. Get it. Get it, buddy. Yes. Do some work on it. Drop his special attack right there. He's going to Mirror Armor. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice play. The Mirror Armor is going to pop off here. Now we're going to go. Do we go into this Max Flare here? Yeah. We're going to go into a Max Flare right here. <laughs> We're going to Dynamax, try to take out this Corvo right here, tie up the game, and then hopefully he throws out maybe like his Dragon type or something, and we can run and get some nice damage off on that, because we still have our Angie Slash in the back end, which is nice. That's why I brought the Angie Slash and the Sylveon. That was for that Dragapult action. Let's go. 
Sylvanas coming out here. I kind of want to save my Dynamax for that Angie Slash so we can draw that weakness policy, but this is actually fine. Do we outspeed here? No, she's going to outspeed, and this thing's going to do some work on us, but we're going to actually probably take it out here, which is actually nice. Max Flare popping off right here. Let's go. Take it out. Take it out. Bro, like, oh my god, how do these things survive on one HP every single time? Absolutely every single time this thing's going to get another iron head off on us. Um, no, we're not going to max guard. We're just going to take it out right here with this max flare. Jeez, man. Ah, my lord. But, oh, he's going to dynamax. He is actually going to dynamax here. And he's going to act. Oh, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. He's going to max guard. I should have. Mm. Is he going to go for two max guards or no? He's going to go straight for a max steel spike. I think he's going to try to actually max guard here. And max card again. Let's see. If he goes for the max steel spike, that's fine by me. Let's see. Yes, max steel spike. We should be able to eat this up. Right? Eat it up. Yes. Okay, beautiful. He wastes his Dynamax. I don't mind that at all. I do not mind that at all. And then we get another Dynamax turn after this. That was kind of dumb by him. I thought he was going to max guard maybe twice. Waste our turns out safe as Corbinite, but he did not. Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to have to swap into my Angie Slash. Hit him with a shadow sneak, take that out, but we'll take that. Now we got one more turn left with our Dynamax Sylveon, right? Yeah, we used two Max Flares. I hope he goes into like a Dragon Pokemon or something. He does still have his Sylveon, which I think he's going to pop off into. Nope, the Hydreigon's going to come out here. Wow. If this thing's Choice Scarf, it has us in the bag. But if it is not, we have potential one shot. Factor here. Let's see. This thing is Choice Scarf. Going to come off with the Splash Can. Can we eat it? Oh my god, let's go. And he got a crit. We ate that up. I was going to say, we ate up his Hydreigon. Or she ate up our Hydreigon. We're going to eat up his and then take him out. Let's go. Sylveon coming up huge. And we still have our Engie Slash in the back end, which I kind of do. No, do I have to worry about? I kind of do. This thing is potentially rocking a fire move. It is potentially rocking a fire move. And we're in a drought. Oh, no, no, no. But I think his Sylveon outspeeds our Sylveon. Is, was that the play? I don't know, actually. I think it's going to be very, very close. I think it's going to be very, very close on the outspeed factor. But we're definitely going to try to rock out a mystical fire. Get that special attack drop on this thing so our Angie Slash can actually come up big. But what's it called? The, um, the Ang Angie Slash, if this thing is running a fire move and hits us with a super effective, if we can eat it up, we can definitely one-shot her out. That's what we can do. I, she's going to outspeed us. Wow. Okay, she outspeeds us, takes us out cleanly. And now it goes down to a 1v1 here. And I don't know if I should go into the Shadow Sneak here. Or do I go into, like, the King Shield, see what it's rocking. Maybe try to stop the Drought a little bit longer. What is the play? What is the play here? I think we're going to save our King Shield here. Um, we're going to go straight into a Shadow Ball. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to go straight into a Shadow Ball. And then if we can survive and bring it low enough, we can go into a Shadow Sneak and actually win this game. She's going to go into a Shadow Ball here. Can we eat it up? Eat it up. Bang, dude. That's going to be the game. Our weakness policy is going to trigger our attack and special attack. Will raise, which is awesome. Sharply, actually, raises sharply. Stance Chains comes into the Shadow Ball. We're actually going to be winning this game considering we got this hit and our Shadow Sneak. This will be night, night, baby, with the attack buff. Let's go. What a way to actually start off this video with a nice big fat W. Let's get it, guys. Let's hop into battle number two. Let's go. Coming off that big win right there, we're hopping into battle number two. This guy's rocking T-Tar, Mimikyu, Rotom, Fire, Ferrothorn, Aqua Raid, and a Gardevoir. Wow. Okay, you don't really see much Gardevoirs or the Aqua Raid, which is cool, which is cool. I always did like Aqua Raid in the other games and all that. I wish they would have brought back Crab Brawler and um that, that Sandcastle Pokemon. He was sick. He was sick. But looking at this team right here, who do we rock out into? Who are we going to rock out into? I see he has the T-Tar, the Mimikyu. Um, hmm, hmm, I think we're going to definitely rock out with this Angie Slash once again. I think Angie Slash is going to come with us, come up strong. Do I bring the Hydreigon? That is going to be the toughest call. Because there's no way he's not bringing that Gardevoir and that Mimikyu. So I don't know if I should bring the, um, uh, the Hydreigon. We're definitely going to be bringing the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon's going to be rolling out here. So we're going to go Gastrodon, Angie Slash, and I think we're going to rock out with the Rotom. I think the Rotom can be a nice call, but we're probably leading with the Rotom. I think we're going to have a Rotom Mirror match here. Or do I roll out? We're going to actually roll out with the Gastron in the front spot. We're going to roll out with Gastron in the front spot. We're going to predict him actually leading that Rotom. And then and we're not going to bring out Rotom. I think we're going to bring out Corviknight here. I think Corviknight can be a solid choice. Or do we bring the Sylveon or Hydreigon? Mm. Mm -hmm. The choices. The choices. 
We're actually going to bring that Sylveon actually to have some firepower in case that Ferrothorn does come through. And there we go. Pick our team at the last second, which could be beautiful. We do cover a lot here. But the only thing I'm kind of scared of is going to be that Gardevoir and Mimikyu. He, I, he's definitely bringing one of them. Like, I can see him maybe leading with it, which will be fine by me. If he leads the Mimikyu, I'm leading that Gastrodon because I'm thinking he's leading that Rotom, that Fire Rotom, which we could just eat up. And then he's going to hard swap into something else. Probably predict this to go into a Scald. Let's see. Oh, we going out into the T-Tar. That's fine by me, too. That is fine by me that he goes out into this T-Tar. We are part ground right here. So, we are gonna, actually going to be rocking in the Sandstream right here. We're going to go straight for a Scald right off the bat. Give me no reason not to go straight for a Scald. Plus, we are... Or do we go for a Superpower? Hmm. Or an Earth Power. Not Superpower. This can lower this target special attack. But this can lead by Burn. So, we are actually going to go off with this Burn. I was going to Dynamax, but... Eh. No, I can see this thing hard swapping. No, he's going to go for a crunch. We should be able to eat this thing up. There we go. Nice little eat up. Definitely less than half. Scald's going to pop off here. I mean, do some work on him. Get the burn. Get the burn. Get the burn. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Burn coming up clutch here. Beautiful. Oh, what is he rocking? Weakness policy? Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This could definitely... We could be in danger here. We could be in danger here. What do we rock out here? Do we dynamic? No, we will not outspeed either way. Hmm. I think we're dead here, but what did this thing rock last time? A crunch? This thing did rock a crunch. Hmm. This thing did rock a crunch. I don't know what to really go into. We could roll into our Angie Slash here. Let's roll into our Angie Slash here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Because this thing's going to roll off with another crunch. So we're going to roll out into our Angie Slash, which is fine. No big deal. He's gonna Dynamax Wowzers. Whoa! This is problem. He's gonna Dynamax early on. Try to take us out here. Jeez. So unit here, and this thing's a shiny T-Tar. Shiny, beautiful Tyranitar. This thing looks sick. Looks absolutely sick right here. Let's see what he's gonna go for. Probably that Max Darkness, right? Yep, that Max Darkness is going to pop off here with its weakness policy buff right here. And I was hoping he was just going for a normal crunch so we could set off our weakness policy. But obviously that did not work. Obviously that did not work. And I'm kind of mad about it. I'm kind of mad about it. Not going to lie. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who we're going to rock out with. We're going to rock out with this Sylveon. We're going to Dynamax our Sylveon. Go for a Max Starfall. That is the plan. That is the plan. We get, we're going to get eaten up by everything right here. Unless we go into this. What's it called? Max Strike. Can we outspeed is the question. We have to outspeed here. I don't know if we're going to outspeed. But well, we have to. This thing is weakness policy buffed up here. Can Sylveon come up big for us once again? Let's go, girl. Let's go, Sylveon. No shiny action. Shiny be shiny. We got the shiny T-Tar versus the shiny Sylveon. But guys, the support for these videos have been unreal. I thank you guys so much, dude. If you guys are enjoying, always remember, smash that like button and click that subscribe button to support the channel. But here we go. Let's see. Who's got the outspeed factor? He does. Going for the max steel spike. We're dead. We are dead. Bill, bill, bill. Oh, no, we're not. We eat that up. We eat that up. I forgot this thing can tank up some hits. But what's he going to raise his defense? Luckily, we are special attack right here. So that defense buff does not do anything. And can we take it out here? Take it out. Dude, why? Do okay, we got to burn. We got to burn. Okay, I was going to say, why do they always survive on the last health? Always, all the time. We can't get that little extra pinch to take him out. Let's go. We swirl the battlefield. We're going to get buffed in here, but this T-Tar is actually burnt, and that should take it out. Beautiful. Actually, puts us in a solid position. We took out this weakness policy T-Tar right there, and we have two more turns left in our Dynamax. So I wonder who he's actually going to throw out. I can see him maybe going with a Gardevoir, if he's rocking a Gardevoir, or a Mimikyu. Let's see. Hopefully he's not rocking either of them. Like I said, that is going to be our troublesome Pokemon against in this battle. Let's see. Who's he got? Yep, the Mimikyu. Like I said, Oh, no, 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 please. Um, Give me no reason not to go into... Let's set a drought. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's set a drought up here. That's what we're going to do. Let's set this drought up. This thing really... Oh, it's going to Swords Dance. Are you kidding me? No! This thing's setting up with this disguise. Absolutely setting up on us. We're going to go straight into the max. I wish we had our Hexers team that we did in the last video where you... It rocks Mold Breaker and it counters Mimikyu's like crazy. You could just hit through them, say night, night, you're done. But we're going to set this drought. If we can eat up this next hit, there is a potential chance to actually take this thing out. But I believe this thing is potentially Life Orb. And now it's Swords Dance and Life Orb. And it can take us out. But we got one more turn left. We're going to go into another Max Player, considering we have this drought rolling. And our fire moves will actually be boosted in this drought. 
he gonna go for a he's probably gonna go for a shadow ball or maybe a shadow sneak does the sword stance go first i feel like it usually does let's see what this guy is going to do he's thinking he's thinking of maybe swapping out here he's know it he knows i go i'm going for a max flare. i set the drought up and everything but let's see let's see hopefully we can outspeed and just finish this thing off that would be huge that means we took out a weakness policy with this thing. A weakness policy T-Tar and a Swords Dance Mimic you. But I can see this thing being also a life orb. This thing's gonna go into a Shadow Call. Eat it. Oh, come on. Come on, Sylveon. Take it up. Yes, this thing is life orb, like I said. Take it out, Sylveon. Show me some work. In the drought. In the drought. Do they always survive on the last hit? <laughs> like, always. It's ridiculous. It's always the last hit. This thing's gonna life orb kill itself. Um, Actually, we got quick attack. This thing's not rolling, rolling Shadow Sneak. We'll be fine. Shadow Sneak comes out. Mm, but it does take itself out with its life orb. So we're going to go down to a 1v1. 1v1 right here. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. But his Sword Dance is gone. His Sword Dance Pokemon and his Weakness Policy Pokemon. We're going to go into our Soul Best Gastrodon right here. Soul Best Gastrodon with half health rolling. Can we take this W? Let's see who he's rocking out here. The Rotom! The Rotom! That should be game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. See, this is who I thought he was actually going to start off with is the Rotom, which is awesome. This thing's probably just rocking a fire move, electric move, electric moves will not hit us because we are part ground type, and it is a special attacker, which we have our assault vest on. I think this guy is just going to hit the run button and scoot out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Overheat's going to come out here. We'll eat that up. No problem. No problem. Wow. Actually, there is a little bit of a problem. Wow. I'm so surprised at that, actually. Maybe we can eat up another one because his special attack did just drop there. But we have to be able to eat up another one. Like, we have to be able to eat up another one. Oh, it's because the drought was there. Okay, okay, we're fine. We should be able to eat up another one here. Easily, easily. Easily we should eat up another one. Let's see. Overheat's going to come out here. We'll eat this up. No problem, no. Let's go. Eat up. We have to take out here. We have to take him out here. That's the call. We got to take him out here. We either got to get a burn or, like, a crit or something or just take him out. Boom, that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Let's go. Play that nicely. Had that cash shot at the end in order to win this match. That's why I did leave with him. I thought he was going to bring that Rotom. I thought he was going to bring that Rotom. So nice call by me. What's this guy want? What do you want, fool? He's about to catch this L. He has a Mimikyu cash on. Ooh, more Petco. That thing's adorable. <laughs> a T-Tar, Exit Drill, and a Dragon Ball. This guy picked his team rather fast. He's already done that. Standing by at the bottom means he's done. He's ready to go. So, who is he going to go off with? That is the real question. We're going to lead with our Rotom. Hands down, going to lead with our, our Rotom. Because I know we outspeed that Gyarados. So, if he leads with that Gyarados, that's fine by me. I can see him rocking that T-Tar team, right? Can you see him rocking that T-Tar team? That, that, that is potential right there. That is potential. He could be rocking that T-Tar team. We're going to be rolling out with our Corviknight in this battle. We're going to be going our Rotom, Corviknight. And do we go with our Hydreigon? We're going to go with our Hydreigon to... Or, mm, yeah, this guy's basically a physical attacking team. So we're going to go with our Hydreigon here. That is how we're going to roll out here. Go out here, Rotom. Get in there, Corvo. And our Hydreigon's going to be rocking that back end here. I can see him maybe leading that Gyarados. But I think he's going with the T-Tar Exigil team. That's what I think he's going to go off with here. But guys, we just pushed Great Ball tier, which is rank or tier 7 right here. And three more tiers puts us to Master Ball tier. So if you'd like to see me push Master Ball tier, definitely go check out my Twitch. Link will be in the description below. But I will make a video on the team that pushes us towards Master Ball. Let's get it. Who's he going to lead here? The Dragapult. Whoa. Wowzers right there. Wowzers. Um, what's the plan here? What is the plan? I can see this guy you turn it out or something. Let's see what he goes with. Do we go with the Discharge and try to get that Paralyze? We could potentially get a Paralyze or we can go out into something different. I don't want to go out into my Hydreigon. We are just going to go straight for this Paralyze here. This Discharge could be pretty good. Or I can see him maybe you turn it out. I can see him maybe you turn it out. But we're going to go straight for this Discharge here and try to do some work on him. Let's see what he does. He's go. Wow. Wow. Bold move. You can go ahead. Do that. Go ahead. Do that. That's fine by me. Unless he really, really, really wants this thing to go. He's got to be rocking his Gyarados then. Bold move right off the bat. I don't... Is he going to take us out one hit? Let's see how he does this. Max Phantasm. Eat this up, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Rotom. Can you get the Paralyze off on him? Can you get the Paralyze off on him? Our defense is going to fall, which is no big deal. We're going to waste two turns on him. Maybe get the Paralyze. Come on. 
No, no paralyzer. We're gonna waste two turns on him and then just roll into our Hydreigon and just dumpster on him. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. You wanna take out my Rotom and waste your Dynamax? That is fine. Bam and do 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 Let's see, what are you gonna go? Right into another Max Phantasm. Wow, dude, this guy came off strong off the bat to take out my Rotom. Like I said, dude, that's fine by me. 100% fine by me. By me. Go into our big dog right here. Our big dog daddy Hydreigon. Choice scarfed. But we're gonna go straight into the Dynamax. We're, can we actually, I don't think we can max guard. I don't think we can max guard. Is this thing actually gonna take us out? Because we cannot max guard? Hmm. Actually, potentially. <laughs> Potentially going to one shot us. This would be not so fun if it does one shot us. But I think we can eat up a shot. I definitely think we can eat up a shot here. I thought maybe we had a max guard on our hands. But we do not. We do not. So this is the plan. This is the plan. Jeans made a teensy mistake. Not remembering his team's moves. <laughs> well, my boy Hydreigon popping off here. Gonna go for this KO. Let's see. This thing will outspeed us. Right? Yep. Max Worm win. Gotta come in here. Can we eat? Can we eat, buddy? Can we eat? We eat. Nice play, Hydreigon. Nice play, buddy. That thing will be out of his Dynamax after this, and our attacks fall. Luckily, we are a special attacker. Come on, take him out here, buddy. Built. See you later. Boom. Dragapult is dead. This is exactly why I wanted to roll out into our Hydreigon. We could eat up a shot and then take out this bad boy. Now we still have two turns left in our Dynamax. We could potentially have a big, big kind of comeback here. Not really comeback, it's kind of tied up here, but big advantage pulling through here. Well, let's get it. Let's go, guys. We got a Corbinite in the back end here. Let's see what other Pokemon this guy is rocking out here. Who you got, fool? Who you got? I see him maybe rocking the more Peko? Potentially. There it is. The more Peko does come out here. And we're going to go right into a... Do we go into a Max Flare and set up the Sun? No, I don't really want to give him that advantage. We could lower his attack stats. Yeah. We're going to go into a max worm win here. We should outspeed. This thing will go into hangry mode afterwards. <laughs> Can we do some decent damage and eat up a hit? Oh! Oh, this thing's focus sash. This thing is focus sash. We did some work on him. If we could just eat up this next hit, we could take out his more Peko and be rolling out here. Then we could be choice scarf and get a hit on the next Pokemon. Aurora Wheel is going to come out here and we eat it up. Let's go. This more Peko should go down unless it is rocking a first turn move. And it's going into hangry mode, baby. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That thing is ticked off. It's like, you are him, man, boy. See, he's going to hit us with a roar wheel. We should be able to eat it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there we go. We're going to finish off our Dynamax here. Take out this more Peko. And we're a choice scarf, so we will get the next hit on the next Pokemon. And then go into our Corviknight to actually finish off this battle and potentially win this one once again, dude. We are rolling out with this team. I love it so much, dude. I love the Hydra Gun teams. It's so different, like it is so different and I love using different teams. Like I said in a couple videos ago, I used a doubles team, a doubles team, it was a rain team with like the Charizard and all that. It was actually a team made for doubles, but I actually liked using it because it was something different and we can like potentially get a win with it and have some fun with it. That's why I like, like those are teams I like to use. But what are we gonna go out into? Can we potentially get a burn here? Yeah, we're gonna go with the flamethrower because the only reason we do go with the flamethrower or this thing's gonna go into a Shadow Seek, save its disguise, or it can potentially go into a what's it called? Yeah, Shadow Seek's gonna come out here. Dang it. Mwah. Okay. Oh, eat it. Nope, does not eat it. It's gonna shave its disguise. Probably go into a Swords Dance. I can see it going into a Swords Dance here. But he's gonna lose some of his HP. This thing is Life Orb. Um, what do we go into here? We gotta go into a Brave Bird. A Brave Bird is our only hit. We have to knock off that disguise. It's a must. It's a must to knock off that disguise. Do we go into a... No. He's going to go into his Swords Dance. So, we have to go for this Brave Bird. Knock off this, this disguise. He does get the Swords Dance off. Like I said, he was going to go into that Swords Dance. So, all we have to do is basically eat up a hit. Right? We just have to eat up a hit. Take off his disguise here. Yay! Yeah, get him! Get him! <laughs> disguise does pop off. Do a little bit of damage. But we're going to take some recoil damage. Which is quite scary. Quite scary here. Oh, we do not take recoil from that. Do I have? Wait, let me. Does is this thing rocking a nice little uh? What's this ability? What's this thing's ability? Mirror armor bounce back only the stats lowering. Okay, no. I guess since it's a disguise, we did not get a hit off on it. Then that happens. Let's see what this thing rolls out into. We're gonna roll into another Brave Bird. This thing's gonna go into a Shadow Claw. Can we eat it? Eat it, buddy. 
Let's go. Less than half. We should be able to win this battle right here. Take. Can we take him out with the Brave Bird? Come on, Corvo. Come on, Corvo. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, we got the berry. The berry comes up clutch, man. The recoil of damage. We possibly could have died there. But the berry does come up huge. And he's going to die to his uh, life orb. So we're just going to go into a roost. We're just going to go into a roost, and that will be GG in a can. Let's go, baby. That is the game. Life Orb will take him out, and we'll catch another victory with this team, dude. This team is awesome, guys, dude. So much fun to use. But let's hop into our fourth and final battle for this video. Going into our fourth and final battle here. This guy is rocking a Type Null. Not even a Bob. Not even Bob into Or is that a Sylveon? I don't think so, but he got the more Petco, the Milo Tick, the Corbinite, the Scrafty, and the Indeedy. Yo, dude, this team is sick. I love the variety here. I love Scrafty. I definitely want to find a team with Scrafty on it. He's such a cool Pokemon, and he's very strong here also. But I think he's going to be rocking out with the Milo Tick and the Scrafty on that team. I think he's going to go with the Milo Tick and the Scrafty. Give me a... I think we're going to roll out with our Corbinite here again in this battle. Um, that Milo Tick is potentially coming in here, so I could... I think it's probably rocking an Ice Move. And it is special attack, isn't it? Is it special attack? I don't know. But he has some more Peko also. So we are definitely going to be rocking in with our Gastrodon in this battle. And do we go with the Angie Slash? Or do we roll out with... I think we're going to roll out with the Sylveon. I think the Sylveon is the play call to go with here. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Do we lead? Who do we lead with though? The lead question is, we're going with our Sylveon, Gastrodon, and our Corviknight here. Or do we go with the Angie Slash? Or do we go with the Angie Slash? I say we do go with the Angie Slash over the Corviknight because actually not really for a reason i just like the angie slash up, up against this pairing here but i say we actually lead with the weakness policy angie slash wait a minute does he have anything to actually take out our weakness policy that's the question that's the question that is the real question oh my god we ran out of time we ran out of time oh my god <laughs> So we're going in with a random three. Then you're going to pick a random three for us. That is crazy. <laughs> that is actually hilarious, though. So let's try to get a win off here with a random three. I'm like, you know, I saw that coming. I was just like, you know what? Let's let this team or let's let the computer pick our team because we're so indecisive. He's going to write a rollout with this. Is this type normal or still valley? And we're going to rock out with our Hydreigon. Who did they pick for us is the real question. Is the real question. Okay, Gashadon and Sylveon. So we almost had... The team that we did want, pretty close, pretty close here. And what are we going to roll out with here? I think we're just going to roll out straight for a flash cannon here. We do outspeed with our choice scarf. We're going to try to put a burn on this guy. Burn him. I know it's not going to do too much, but I wanted to burn. He's going to U-turn out, which is fine by me, which is actually fine by me. Oh my God, I actually did some work. I did some sauce work right there. Who's he going to roll out into? Who is he going to roll out into is the real question. Is it? He wasn't rocking a Dragon Pole. Let's see who he rolls out into. The Mitletic does come out here. Coming strong. Oh! How would we get the burn on him? Oh, by the Flame Worm. Okay, okay. That's fine. That is fine by me. Um, I think we're going to hard swap out here. He is going to roll out into an Ice move. So, you give me no reason not to go out into my Gashadon here. Considering we are... Assault vest it, and we can eat up this hit. Then we can kind of just earth power away, doing some chip damage here. Considering this thing is burned, this will be our best bet at going after this Milo tick right here. That was our only trouble would be the Milo tick. Like I said in the beginning here, that the Milo tick would be a problem. But we'll be able to eat this up, no problem, with this assault vest. And we are gashed on here. And the burn is going to start taking away damage on this thing's end. But we're actually just going to roll out with an earth power. I don't know if he sees us going for an earth power and it's going to hard swap out. But let's see what he actually does here. I can see him hard swapping out and saving that Milo Tick, considering that thing is an absolute unit. That thing is a unit, and our Gastron is our only thing to actually eat up. He's going to go for the burn here, and we have Storm Drain on. Stupid! Stupid! Our special attack is going to raise, so all of our attacks are going to do so much better. So much better. Thank you so much for the special attack boost with the Storm Drain, and this burn is going to come out here. Um, What do I think he's going to do? Now, we're going to stick with the Earth Power. I was going to, like, predict that he's going to hard swap and maybe go with the Scald. But that's fine. If he, if he attacks here, we will actually take out the Biolitic and take out our big problem here. Come on, boy. I want to win this match as soon as we have a random three pick from the computer. That is hilarious. <laughs> 
Like, I literally looked at the time at the last second. I was like, oh my god, we are out of time. <laughs> actually cracked me up. Let's see, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? I actually want to use a Milotic team, too. I want to find a Milotic team, a Scrafty team, and a Gudra team. Those are three teams that I definitely want. So if you guys do know a rental code team for that, let me know in the comment section down below. This thing is going to go for a recovery, which is fine. Which is fine by me. We're probably going to do the same amount of damage with our, what's it called? With our Earth Power here. So let's go into here. Earth Power popping off. Built, and it is burned. It is burned. So we will actually do more. And we get a crit, baby. We get a crit. I can see this thing going for another recover. Or it's going to go into a different Pokemon. I think it already searched Pokemons. And our Earth Power does work on all of them, probably. It's going to recover again. We're just going to keep on rolling here. Like, you give me no reason not to keep on rolling here. Like, I don't, I don't know why you're going to keep rolling here. My Earth Power, I think it does a little bit more damage than your how much you get back with the recover. Especially with the burn. Especially with the burn, we do some work. Give me no reason. We have a special attack boost on this Gastron. This guy is just going to stall this match out. Recover coming in here again. Oh my lord, guys. Oh my lord. He's just going to keep doing this. He's just going to keep doing this. And we're just going to be slowly taking down his health here. So Earth Power. Built. Nice, nice, nice. Burn's going to do some work on him again. Another Earth Power. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my lord. You were so annoying. Just take the death. Just take the death, man. Like, how many earth powers do we have? I think we have more than how many recovers she has. So I'll go 10 for 10 on you. I'm just hoping for another lucky crit. Burn's gonna come off here. Look, slowly but surely, this thing keeps going down in health. We still have 11 earth powers left, which will be plenty for the rest of this match. <laughs> this thing's going for another recover. You loser. You loser. Slowly going down. Burns doing some work. Once we get a lucky crit, it'd be night night. Do it. Give me the crit. Do the crit. <laughs> Do the roar. <laughs> Look at that. A little bit lower this time. Like, you're just stalling yourself for failure right here. Battle was canceled. I didn't even have to kill one Pokemon with a random team. Like, come on. What more do you want? A random team. We didn't even have to kill one Pokemon, and we ended up working on them. Before we do end off this video, I want to show the team off one last time. Here's a look at the team. You guys can see everything. You can see their abilities, their items they're holding, their moves, and all that stuff. And if you want to use this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to also leave a link to the person who made this team in the description below. But guys, I want to also thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on these videos. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you want to see more of these and you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.